I saw a young man, I saw a young man get on the bus yesterday. He had some yellow fucking shoes on. Look like pom poms, little uh, uh, yellow puff balls, and they looked at looked like it was made out of cotton or some kind of material. Very feminine. Pussy man. Let's get into the definition of pussy man. Pussy man is this effeminate culture I see now of men wearing tight stuff, not letting their nuts hang, uh, man purses, you know. And they act feminine. They don't want to get dirty. They don't. They they, they, they want to stay clean, like like fresh. There ain't nothing wrong with that. But it gets to a point. A man, a man, supposed to get rugged every now and then. A real man. But it's a lot of feminine men, simply because the destruction of the family is in full effect. See, it gets deeper in the paint when it comes to this bullshit, folks. You know, they trying to. Subtract the man out the fucking household. This goes across the board. It's not only conducive and consolidated to the Afro American race. It's go for all races abroad. Fatherless homes. They try to destroy the family unit. And at a certain time, when that young man gets of, of age, the woman can't control him because he's grown into manhood, and the man is out of the picture. This is where the feminine shit come in because all he knows is being read by a woman. And being around women. So it's really not some of this culture of these youth, it's really not all their fault because we have this feminism shit, we have this, th th these women, they're taking a uh, concept and they're taking the ideology is we wear the pants now, fuck the man, the man wear the fucking goddamn skirt. See what I'm saying? And that's what's really going on. And actually, motherfuckers are actually wearing skirts now. And the women are wearing the fucking pants. I mean, one day I was at the liquor store, you know, with my boys, doing what motherfuckers do, men do. It was early in the motherfucking morning. We got a 7-Eleven liquor store and shit. A motherfucking woman jumped out the motherfucking safety truck. A shit truck. A, de a dead John truck. Overalls and everything. The whole fucking hundred yards. And we and I'm sitting there looking at this shit. I say, well, this is this is this is this don't look right here. You got women driving big ass shit trucks, 18 wheeler, 16 wheeler shit trucks, making good money. But where's the where's the uh, effeminate shit in that one? Where's the feminist shit? It's none. She's not effeminate. That's a man's role. That's a man's job. Now, you may say I'm an asshole. Uh, I, I'm arrogant. No, I'm not arrogant. I'm old school. You know, some things ain't gonna change about me. Women got to know their place, okay? It's like men got to know their place. You know, a man's job is to be the head of the household, take care of the bills, and take care of outside chores. A woman's job is to cook, clean, be the backbone for that uh, husband, and she can work too. I ain't talking about that barefoot and pregnant shit. That shit is out of the door because we live in an economy now and you can't even do that shit unless you privileged. So, I'm all for women working, but it's a point she should know her lane. And this is where the problem starts. Men feel, in, you know, they feel uncomfortable and incompatible because they feel as though the woman is wearing the pants. This is why motherfucking men, I'm telling y'all, as a man to a man, y'all need to get y'all shit together and y'all foundation and stop getting on social media bad mouth for fucking women. The ones who's, do you know, I can, you know, I see through the bullshit. The ones that's doing that, that mean y'all ain't about shit. If y'all can spend time on a fucking social media network bashing women 24 hours a fucking day, 48 hours a fucking day, that shows me you don't got nothing else to do with your life. You need to be bashing those jobs. You need to be bashing that education so you can get, so you can get equipped, so you can compete with the fucking dating and the relationship field. See, that's what y'all got to understand, man. You know? So this is why you have a lot of pussy men running around because they didn't gave up. And when they gave up, I mean, when you give up, that's when you show yourself as a pussy man. If you don't want to get a job, you're a pussy man. If you want to live off a woman, you're a pussy man. You know, pussy men. You don't want to uh, call rank or run house. You don't want to be an alpha male. You pussy men. Excuse me, pussy men. 
you got dick, you got a, you, I mean, you a man, you got a, 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 a testicles and a penis, but your mind, you have a woman's mind, you have a woman's ideology, you have a woman's thought process. So therefore, psychologically, mentally, and spiritually, you a man, but you have a woman's concept of thinking. So you are a pussy man, or pussy men. You see, you know, this, this is this is the definition. If you don't want to work, if you don't want to provide, if you don't want to take care of responsibilities, if you don't want to fight the powers that be, which is the enemies to all mankind, if you don't want to stand up for righteousness instead of standing up for weakness, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to stand up for righteousness instead of standing up for weakness, understand? Because that's what y'all doing. Y'all standing up for weakness. Pussy man. That's the definition. You know, I know it hits home, but I'm trying to wake the concepts of y'all motherfucking minds up. And I got to come with this raw commentary. I got to. This is the only way I can get through to some of y'all. Y'all being, de being demasculated by the uh, demonic record industry now we have going on. Y'all being demasculated by... The motherfucking clothing industry now that selling you that motherfucking feminist shit. Y'all de y'all being demasculated by these ratchet ass women that's so slick and crafty. You know, you know you can't do so. You got to do other things that you think you can. You know, some of these men simp out. I see these women; they fat as shit. But you gotta be strong, bro. If you know she's pimping you out and you and you simping out, that makes you a pussy, man. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you a little secret, bro. If all you want is that ass, and she knows that, and, and she know you like a hound, and, you, and that's your weakness, she fucking her niggas. She getting twelve in her throat, niggas sneaking down her mouth, tea bagging her, and all that good shit. While you sit at home, suck. While you kiss her, you kissing another niggas motherfucker. Come. This is how ratchet this shit is now. So if you weak, and she knows you weak. And she don't and she don't like no weak ass Negro, but she put up with you because two dicks are better than one. Don't think she ain't out there fucking somebody else because she is. See that that is the psychology of it, man. Y'all gotta wake the fuck up and stop being pussy men. Alright. Now I can go on and on. I can beat this down to the fucking ground, but game's coming up today. I'm trying to get it in. And I hope y'all enjoy this. Subscribe. It's the only way out of this damn wind blowing. It's nice out this motherfucker too. But anyway, it's the only way I can come. Raw commentary. Peace.